Okay, welcome back to Little T PlayStationers. Uh, this is episode two of my tutorial series, and today we're going to be making uh, first a basic, and then converting that basic airlock into an advanced airlock. Okay. Uh, now I'm on the moon, so I'm not going to be able to uh, show the mechanics very well of how an advanced airlock works. Uh, you'll just have to trust me that the advanced airlock is going to work. <laughs> as, uh, as I advertised, right? So, uh, to build an airlock, you are gonna need um, you are gonna need two doors of any kind. Uh, you know, they can be like glass doors or you know composite doors or, or the airlock doors that you can also build. You know, they just need to be two doors. It doesn't really matter what they are, right? Um, you will need the materials to build these doors. And because we're going for glass doors today, we're going to be using plastic sheets and glass sheets for that. Uh, you know, so whatever doors you choose, uh, you'll need the materials for that, obviously. Um, you'll need a console, a glass sheet for the console. You'll need uh, an airlock cartridge uh, or chip. Um, and then later we'll need an advanced airlock chip. Uh, so, you know, if you want to build an advanced airlock, you can still follow along. Uh, just use the advanced airlock chip instead of the airlock chip, right? Um, so, okay. Uh, you'll also need, uh, for a basic airlock, one passive vent and one active vent. Uh, for an advanced airlock, you will need uh, two of each of these. Um, you will need one gas sensor, uh, some frames, and some steel sheets. Um, a power controller and a battery. Uh, today we're going to be using a large battery. Uh, you, you could use a small one if you want, if that's all you have available, but I prefer to use a large or better uh, battery. Um, you'll need about 40 uh, cables, 40 regular, you know, basic starter cables that you start with. Um, you know, because we're, we're not going to be using really even more than like a thousand watts we don't really need to to spend the uh the gold on making heavy cable uh but i am going to use heavy cable for connecting the whole uh airlock circuit to my main power grid here right um so you know whatever cables you're using for your your main power grid uh, use those to connect uh the power controller to that right uh, and then on top of that, you're going to need about 40 cables. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, yes, optionally, the, the lights. Uh, we're going to be using a light and a flashing light today. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're about ready, right? So one thing to remember about airlocks, right, is that when you place down the doors, uh, the, um, the power input and the data input need to be facing inwards which is towards the space that you are going to put the airlock in, right? So in this case, right, our airlock is going to be this space here. So we have our connectors facing inwards, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put down my, my frames here. Um, so, yep. So let's close up um, the four sides of our our cube here right that are, that are open uh, and just for dramatic effect I'm gonna put in these extra frames here um, you know maybe I want to put like a bunch of lights here outside or like you know uh, a sign or something or you know maybe I just want to have a nice you know uh, red white red white red pattern or whatever you know to, to kind of make the base look a little nicer right but you, you you just need something onto which you can attach consoles vents uh, power controllers, lights, etc. Right. So you you could here just use like walls, um, and that would be just fine. Uh, the the one thing to note is if you use walls, they are going to need to go also on the inside of this frame, right, and not on the outside, uh, or rather the inside of this frame and, and this frame, right? Um, because you know you won't be able to attach the things you need to attach. Anyways, so we're going to put down our uh, frames here. Um, 
let's attach, yeah, let's close those because we're not going to put anything inside those frames, right? Um, you know, I mean, you could if you want, but you know, it's it's just easier to demonstrate uh, putting these frames like this, right? Um, no, we are going to need this frame open for now. Are we? Yes, yes, we are. Right. Okay. So we have our frames in place. Let's put our steel sheets away and first let's put in our active and our passive vent right so the active vent needs to go inside um, with I think the best way to do it is to have the the, um, the power connector facing down and the um, the pipe connector facing up right uh, but this um, the the passive vent Sorry, the active vent needs to go inside the airlock, uh, and the um, well, it, you know, technically it doesn't, but it, it's just easier to manage that way, right? So the passive vent, we put our passive vent in with the pipe connector going out here, right? Uh, so now let's grab our pipes and let's connect up a corner another corner right and then another corner to go up out around and down right um, okay so I mean you could instead of using this uh, you could use a pipe connector with a canister inside um, but uh, I'll kind of get into that in in a video in another series that I, I plan to do on Mars um, so you know sit tight and you will see it uh, can't give you a uh, an ETA on that but it is coming um, okay so we have our active and passive vent set up uh, let's go ahead and put in our console right let's grab our airlock uh, chip right let's put that in there let's grab our glass sheet for our console let's put that in there and as I, I always do I forgot that you are going to need a data disk too right which you can find in one of your starting crates uh, you'll need that to program this console to tell it what to do with these doors and with this active vent here right uh, kind of become clear in a minute um, okay now we're going to need to put in our power controller okay so I'm a little bit OCD about you know the right way up and all these things so you know there we go um, so I'm just gonna put it up at the top here um, and then I am gonna connect it up to the main power grid uh, so for me you know I, I, I it's just easier than than you know messing around trying to find where you can put cables and things uh, through doors you, you can at certain places you know like here right uh, but it's just easier to just you know um, avoid the door right so kind of plan for that when you're building you know um, okay so let's connect these up right okay let's grab our crowbar to open our power controller okay let's flip that to on and let's grab our battery right okay so you see that is now connected to our power grid um let's see what do we have to do now we have to pick up our sensor okay so we'll pick up our gas sensor right so we'll use the mouse wheel go down to gas sensor and yeah, we'll, um, we'll put that on the wall. Let's close up our um, area power controller um, so that we can see to put uh, cables down and things, right? So, okay, now we're going to have a light at the top. So let's leave a, a cable there for that. Uh, then we're going to need to go down here, right? To connect up our doors Oop. all right okay so like once you've built the doors you'll see they have uh, the, con 
connectors there, right? So, um, yeah. Okay. Like this. And then we're going to need to go up here too, right? To connect all these things up. Um, and we're just going to need to make sure that everything can see and talk to everything else, right? Uh, so it should kind of look like this, right? Um, and then, you know, let's bring this up here. Um, we're going to do a cross here. Uh, you'll see why in a, in a, in a bit. Um, this is basically for the, for the other active vent that we're going to put here for our advanced airlock. Right, so you know, we kind of need to um, build it like that, right? Um, you know, so you'd have your advanced airlock here. Um, now that should be everything connected. So what we have to do now is put in our connector for our light. So let's do that. Okay, we want our light to be nice and in the middle, uh, but we're going to have a flashing light. So let's do that, right? Okay, now let's fill in our frame here. Um, okay, let's fill in this frame because now we've put our, um, we've put our, um, oh, that's interesting. Right click to um, turn off the thing in your hand. That's pretty awesome. I had no idea that was a thing. So, okay, so we've connected up our power, right? We've connected up our pipe here. Um, so we can kind of go ahead and uh, fill in this frame, right? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure we ever needed to not have it filled in, but whatever. Okay, so we have our light. Uh, I'm going to go with a round light because I've become a big fan of those, right? And our flashing light, let's put that in, right? Okay, so um, yeah. let's grab our materials for building our, um, uh, for our doing our doors here, right? So let's get out our welding torch, right? Okay, yep. Alrighty, um, let's grab our glass sheets and our crowbar you know, for these type of doors, right? So construct that door, construct that door, perfect. Okay, uh, now these doors, because we haven't done anything yet with the, um, the console here, uh, you know, we haven't programmed the doors or the airlock, um, it kind of doesn't understand that it is an airlock yet, right? So these doors are just going to work, you know, as, as normal doors, right? Um, so what we're going to do is grab our data disk and our labeler. Um, and you know what? I think we're going to, we're going to start putting in, uh, steps here for the advanced airlock too. Um, okay. So, e-reader sure I had the chip here somewhere uh, network analyzer okay maybe not maybe I'll have to print one out okay so yeah um, let's just grab our data disk and where is my labeler have I completely bypassed that too oh it's in my tool belt well that's clever right <laughs> okay so that's my labeler. Um, yep, that is my labeler. Oh, okay, my my advanced airlock stuff is here, right? So let's get rid of that uh, and that and that because we don't need those anymore, right? So there's my advanced airlock, my other active vent, and my other passive vent, right? Um, okay, so that is um, if we. How are we going to do this? Yes, let's close that door, right? And let me, um, yeah. Okay, so I, I have this room prepared already, right? So I'm just going to put in this, this vent here um, and allow 
this room to start kind of pressurizing. And I'm just going to let loose a bunch of oxide to kind of give it, you know, a, a quick burst of pressure here, right? Um, so we're going we're gonna to close this door. So we're inside the airlock now. We're going to put in our data disk. We're going to get out our labeler. Uh, but first, we're going to put in our second active vent here. So we're just going to put that there. We're not going to connect it up or anything. We're just going to put it there for now. Um, and it's going to kind of be there as like a lame duck. Okay. Uh, but we are going to call it. Um, we are going to call it external vent. Okay. And we are going to call this glass door um, external door. If you want, you could rename this to, you know, internal vent. Um, but really, the only the only important thing is that you can identify, you know, which door and which vent is which, right? Um, so okay, and this is the internal door, right? Okay, that's our labeling done. Um, now we're going to turn on this uh, thing here. Um, okay, so, uh, do you know what? I think we might have to disconnect uh, this um, cable for a moment. Um, otherwise, it's, it might think that it's supposed to be, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. So, all right. Um, so we want first to select our external door, okay? And we want to find uh, our external vent wherever that is I'm oh, sorry yes our internal door <laughs> it's a basic airlock right okay so let me let me start this again right so all right you put in the data disk you turn on the console then you select your external door right this is for a basic airlock uh, then you will select your internal door okay so now it knows uh, you know the, the program here knows which door is which right uh, then you want to gonna, gonna connect your gas sensor and your internal vent right and then if you have a light here um, then you can just connect up the the flashing light right now you see it's gone green right instead of flashing yellow so that should mean that everything is okay right so let's just test that out okay uh, and it, it's pressurizing. Why is it pressurizing? That's interesting. It shouldn't be, but okay. It's pressurizing. We've got stuff coming in. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's incredible. Okay. Now you'll notice, right, that the pressure here is like 60 kPa, right? Uh, but when the airlock here, the basic airlock, tried to pressurize, right, um, it took us up to 101 kPa, right? So for a basic airlock, that is always going to be the target pressure that the airlock is going to try to reach before it opens this door, okay? Um, so, you know, if you're only going to be using a basic airlock, it's a good idea to try to get the pressure inside this room, uh, you know, or whatever, inside your base to, um, to that kind of pressure, right? Um, so there we go. Right, so it's it's trying to pressurize. It's not having a good uh, a good time about it, um, but it, it will eventually pressurize. Right, so okay, so that is a basic airlock. Right, uh, so what we're gonna do now is uh, go through how to convert that into an advanced airlock. Right, so um, for that you will need to drop your data disk there, right? So you're gonna need to um, take this apart. Then you're gonna need to swap the airlock for the advanced airlock cartridge. Then you'll need to put in your cable there. You've already named this, right? You're gonna need to connect up, you know, the same way we did the other pipes, right? So that going like out right um you know good 
goodness me, if I could ever control this thing. Uh, so we have a pipe going out there, right? So we now need to have a connector kind of here, right? Uh, now, if you want the, the pressure to, you know, change quicker or whatever, you could, like, you know, um, connect up, like, a second uh, active vent, you know, like here, or a passive vent, rather, you know. Um, so you could kind of do it like that, right? And, you know, connect up these two here, but, you know, we're not going to do that for today, right? So, um, we put in our second passive vent there. You don't need to name the passive vents because, you know, they don't do anything they don't interact with the, the console um, all right so let's put our our thing back there right so it says error in config right because you know it, it it's set up to be a basic airlock and now you've put in an advanced airlock and it's all weird and it doesn't know what's going on right so okay so we're gonna go through the same kind of the same process again right so now you've connected up the power to your external and your internal vents you've got a, a door that's named external door and a door that's named internal door you have a gas sensor right so it's all the same the only thing that's really different is that you've put in this extra active vent here right with this with this passive vent okay um, you know so the first thing you're gonna have to do again is find your external door right then you're gonna find your external vent Okay, which sometimes, you know, it could be tricky, right? There's our external vent, right? So door, vent, okay? External door, external vent, okay? Uh, then you're going to need to find your internal door, right? And your internal vent, okay? Then you connect up the gas sensor, and then if you want to use your flashing light, right, then, you know, go ahead and put that in. Okay, and now you'll see that it is green, but we're not quite ready to um, to pull out the data disk just yet, right? Because we have to now configure what is our target external, which is here, and our target internal, which is here, uh, pressures, right? So we saw before that the pressure in this room is round about 60 kPa, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and type in 60 for the internal pressure. And we know that out here, the, the pressure is zero, right? So if you're on Mars, right, you, you would type in like two, right? Because that is the external pressure uh, on the Martian surface, right? But because we're on the moon, we're going to type zero, okay? So, yeah. And now we should be safe to pull out our data disk and cycle to interior, okay? Now, with the basic airlock, right, it tried to get up to 101 kPa, right? We had no say in, like, what was the pressure it aiming for, you know, nothing like that. It was just going to try to fill up this little space here to um, um, 101 kPa, right? But now that we've set this advanced airlock to open at 60 kPa or 61 kPa, right, um, you know, it's opened at the same pressure as this room, right? Or, you know, whatever you set it to, but we set it to the same pressure as this room, right? Um, you know, so so that kind of helps when you you, you haven't got, um, you know, that much air in a room or whatever, you know, like it's it's pretty cool, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for airlocks. Um, you know, if, if you want to add more flashing lights, right? Sometimes I have like two, like one either side of the main light, um, you know, or if you want to have uh, flashing lights like, you know, on the sides here, um, you know, or even just uh, like up here, like outside the airlock or whatever, that is fine. Just make sure that they are connected up to this isolated data and power network uh, the same way as this, this light is, right? Um, there's also a, 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 like a like a loudspeaker somewhere in, in one of the uh, construction machines and you can kind of configure that too, you know, um, to play a sound or a tune, right? Uh, but I, I wasn't going to get into that today, right? So, you know, I hope uh, this has been a useful video. Um, you know, if you like it, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll, I'll be doing more videos similar to this uh, as, as we go. 
Um, so yeah, as, as always, uh, thanks for watching and uh, that's little T out.